What I have in my chest is an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD. And the ICD is a device that is uh, designed to detect a malignant arrhythmia and of delivering a life-saving shock to the heart. But what it also does is that it collects an amazing amount of data about, about its own function and about my clinical status as a patient. Five years ago, Hugo Campos was diagnosed with a medical condition that makes it hard for his heart to pump blood. The ICD implanted in his chest collects hundreds of data points a day on everything from heart rhythm changes to fluid buildup. That info is beamed back to the manufacturer, Medtronic, which crunches the data and sends the results to his doctor. But not to Hugo, who only gets annotated reports from his cardiologist. What's ironic is the fact that the, the, the patient is the person, is the one living with heart disease. It's not the manufacturer, it's not the, the doctor, and yet the patient is the, the one left in the dark. A recent swell of digital medical data collected by devices outside of a doctor's office is raising some thorny questions. Who owns the rights to a patient's digital footprint? And who should control that information? not just for medical implants, but also smartphone apps and over-the-counter monitors that track things like sleep patterns and hours of physical activity. As healthcare pushes into the digital age, the legal and regulatory definition of medical data is becoming blurred. By law, doctors must hand over traditional medical records to patients who request them within 30 days. But when it comes to data collected outside of a medical facility, it's unclear when that information is legally considered a medical record, and whether doctors are the only ones who can deliver it. Currently, there are no guidelines from the Department of Health and Human Services that address these questions. Hugo and a small number of other heart patients have requested direct access to their data from Medtronic, but patients say so far the company has declined, referring them to their doctors. Medtronic says FDA regulations allow it to send doctors' reports through its web portal, but not to patients. For that, Medtronic says it would have to apply for FDA approval and design a website specifically for patients, a process that could be costly. And even if it did, the company isn't convinced ICD patients, half of which are over 65, would even want the information. We don't have concerns about handing patients their information. There is just no real... Uh, overwhelming um, patients that are asking us for that data. And even with FDA approval, the company says other regulations may still restrict it from delivering data. There are legal requirements, there are HIPAA requirements, and this is really uncharted waters. As it stands, most patients who want their data get short summaries through a doctor. Hugo's biannual consultations with his doctor have racked up out-of-pocket costs of up to $350 per visit. He says he feels forced to pay for data that should already belong to him. Medical professionals disagree about whether or not giving patients immediate access to their data would be useful. Some worry that patients may misinterpret the flood of information. Let's take a patient getting an x-ray, for example. The patients don't get the x-ray information from the tech or from the company who provides the x-ray equipment. They actually go back to their physician who appropriately then interprets that data and provides that information to the patients. But Hugo believes regular feedback would better help him manage his health. It's my second day in a dairy meat-free diet. He already uses a spreadsheet to document changes in his condition. What I found is that um, a scotch whiskey puts me in atrial fibrillation. It has done that twice. And so I don't drink scotch whiskey anymore. So what technology allows and the access to information and access to data allows us to do is to have a, a better awareness of our health. Several defibrillator companies, including St. Jude and Biotronic, say they would balk at handing over data directly to patients. Physicians and hospitals are their customers, they say, not the patients. And though Medtronic isn't making money from selling patient data, it may in the future. The company is considering selling the information to health systems and insurers for a variety of uses. But commercial plans for the data remain nebulous. We have not robustly discussed selling the data per se. Uh, we are simply in this digital revolution that, that we all are embracing. 
But Hugo says the information his defibrillator tracks should ultimately belong to him. It's my body, it's my heart, and it's my data. We are all considered uh, responsible adults to uh, take care of every aspect of our lives. We're, we manage our careers, we manage our, um, our finances. How come it's any different when it comes to health care? For The Wall Street Journal, this is Linda Blake in San Francisco.